In this video, we'll explore how to seamlessly integrate Istio APIs into your applications using Cloud Service Mesh. If you're not familiar with Istio, it's an open source microservices service mesh that helps you manage network traffic between services. Cloud Service Mesh is Google Cloud's managed implementation of Istio, representing the next generation of Traffic Director. When you use Cloud Service Mesh, Istio capabilities are automatically added to your Google Kubernetes engine clusters. This integration provides two key components, a managed Istio control plane that gives you access to Istio APIs and a managed data plane that automatically injects Istio sidecars into your pods. These capabilities allow you to have full control and management over traffic between your services, enhancing your Kubernetes deployment significantly. Let's begin by setting up a new Google Cloud project. First, navigate to the Kubernetes Engine page and enable the API. Once enabled, go to the Clusters page and create a standard cluster. To optimize costs, switch to a zonal cluster type. Then go to the Features page and enable Service Mesh. This important step accomplishes three things adds your cluster to a fleet, enables workload identity, and turns on the Cloud Service Mesh API. After clicking Create, your cluster will begin provisioning. Once it's ready, you can use Cloud Shell to interact with it. Authenticate kubectl using the appropriate gcloud command. To see the Istio resources available on your cluster, you can retrieve the API resources and filter for Istio. You'll notice a wide variety of Istio configurations that are now available for use. This represents the control plane aspect of Cloud Service Mesh, providing you with an Istio-like control plane that enables you to utilize these Istio APIs. The other crucial aspect of Cloud Service Mesh is the managed data plane, which works by injecting sidecar proxies into your pods. With Cloud Service Mesh, this process is streamlined. You simply need to label a namespace with Istio injection equals enabled to enable sidecar injection. Let's create a simple Nginx deployment to demonstrate this concept. After creating the deployment and checking the pods, you'll notice that each pod now contains two containers, your application container and the automatically injected Istio sidecar. For a more detailed exploration, let's create a complete demo web application with Istio resources. We'll use YAML to define all the necessary components. First, we'll convert our simple Nginx deployment into a proper application and expose it with a Kubernetes service in the default namespace. Next, we'll define an Istio gateway to expose the service outside the cluster. Finally, we'll create a virtual service to route traffic from the gateway to our application. After applying this YAML to our cluster, all the resources will be created. 
the deployment with automatic sidecar injection, and the Kubernetes service. However, the Istio Gateway resource only defines the edge of our network. We still need to deploy the runtime components of the gateway. To do this, we'll create a namespace called Istio Ingress and label it to enable sidecar injection for the gateway components. We'll use Helm to install our gateway. First, we add the Istio repository and update it. Then we install the Istio Gateway and the Istio Ingress namespace. As the installation progresses, we can check the namespace to see the resources coming up, particularly the pod running Istio Ingress. I'm not sure if we should expect a sidecar here, but let's continue along and also sanity check our gateway resource selector. For the Helm-based installation, we have a selector of Istio equals Ingress, so we'll want to reflect that in our gateway CRD specification. We can verify everything is working by accessing the external IP address of our gateway. If we see the Nginx homepage, our simple setup is working perfectly. Now let's make our service more robust by adding additional configurations to our virtual service. For example, we can add timeouts and automatic retry functionality. We can take it even further by adding a destination rule for features like circuit breaking and connection pooling. The destination rule provides several features to enhance service resilience. First, connection pooling. This feature maintains pre-established connections instead of creating a new connection for each request. It leads to more efficient management of the connection lifecycle and limits total connections, ensuring our service doesn't get overwhelmed and remains performant. Secondarily, outlier detection. This implements circuit breaking. If multiple 500 errors occur in the service, the service mesh will divert traffic away from the failing service, preventing overload. Specifically, if five errors are detected within a 30-second interval, traffic will be diverted and the service will be rechecked after 30 seconds to see if it can handle more traffic. After applying these changes, we have a robust production-grade service ready to go, enabled through the power of Istio and Cloud Service Mesh. To visualize how these resources interact, we can import them into our diagram. The gateway sits at the edge of our network at the top. Behind it is a virtual service for our service resource, which is connected to the destination rule. Traffic flows from our gateway through our service infrastructure down to our Nginx deployment. While we've created everything directly in the Google Cloud Console for this demonstration, it's important to note that in production environments, you typically use infrastructure as code tools like Terraform to manage all these resources in a more scalable way. 
This approach provides better version control, reproducibility, and automation for your network configurations. If you'd like to support the channel, consider starting a free trial of our new design tool, which is linked in the description, and let us know what you think. We'll include all code and the diagram file in the description as well. If you have any questions, please post them in the comment section and we'll do our best to respond. Thank you very much for watching to the end and please enjoy responsibly.